This is Professor Derf Seitz. This video shows how to calculate hypothesis testing p-values for a standard normal distribution using Microsoft Excel. This would occur when hypothesis testing for a population mean, when sigma is known, or when hypothesis testing for a population proportion. There is one input field, the z-score. Again, this would be part of a hypothesis test procedure. It's separated here in case you just want to calculate p-values on their own. The p-values that are calculated are for the left tail test, right tail test, and two tailed test. The type of test is determined by the alternative hypothesis, HA. If its relational condition is less than, it's a left tail test. If it's greater than, it's a right tail test. If it's not equal to, it's a two tailed test. For the left tail test, this spreadsheet uses Microsoft Excel's norm.s.dist function. The S stands for standard normal passing in B1, the z-score, and true is the default value for a cumulative distribution. And notice that all this is rounded to four decimal places. The right tail is one minus B4, and the two tails is a conditional. If the z-score is less than zero, then use two times the left tail otherwise use two times the right tail. In the actual hypothesis test, the null hypothesis is rejected if the probability of chance, which is the p-value, is less than or equal to the level of significance specified in the hypothesis test.